So I've got f of x, and that was the distinct parts. And I've got g of x, odd parts. Now, is it obvious to you that those two functions have the same coefficients. Is it obvious to you that those two functions have the same coefficients? If I write them as series, the coefficients of one will be exactly the same as the coefficients of the other. Yes? An no, we have an injured 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 injured. Injured. X is just a placeholder. It's just a placeholder. This, these are fun, the emphasis here is not on X. It's on the coefficients. Forget what X is. These are not real functions. You're not studying. I don't know. That's the beauty of it. I'm going to tell you something about these numbers, and I don't even know what they are, and I never will know. I'm going to tell you something interesting about them anyway. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to work on the function f of x. So I'm going to take f of x and rewrite it. I want to write 1 plus x. I'm, I'm rewriting this expression as 1 minus x squared over 1 minus x. Do you believe that? The, I, this expression, 1 plus x, is 1 minus x squared over 1 minus x. Agreed? Now I'm going to rewrite this one. That's 1 plus x to the fourth. I mean, 1 plus x squared, that's 1 minus x to the fourth over 1 minus x squared? That's 1 plus x cubed. That's 1 minus x to the 6 over 1 minus x cubed. The next one is 1 minus x to the 8th over 1 minus x to the 4th. I'll write another one, 1 minus x to the 10th over 1 minus x to the 5th. And now, all of these are dot, dot, dots. Ooh, with all the usual warnings about the danger of dot, dot, dots. But if you look at this calculation, you see the 1 minus x squared term in the numerator here cancels with the 1 minus x squared term here. The 1 minus x to the fourth term here cancels with this 1 minus x to the fourth term here. The 1 minus x to the sixth term cancels with a 1 minus x to the sixth term in the denominator. Where is it? It's just beyond that margin. It's the next term. So everything in the numerator cancels with the stuff in the denominator every other term. This first one with second one, second one with fourth one, third one with sixth one, fourth one with eighth one, fifth one with tenth one, etc. And what's left? 
what's left is this. This is a fifth. The odd terms are left. And that's g of x. So f of x is equal to g of x. Isn't that cute? Just cancellation. So the two functions have exactly the same coefficients. And therefore, the number of partitions of 8,792 into distinct parts is exactly the same as the number of partitions of that same number into odd parts. And yet, I don't have a clue as to what that number is. Hmm. 